laptops have become incredibly powerful over the last decade. My main work computer is a 14-inch M1 MacBook Pro that has served me well throughout the past couple of years. Its display is beautiful, its keyboard is amazing, and the unibody construction is truly a feat of engineering. I've always been a desktop kind of person, however, and even though I get most of my work done on a laptop, that doesn't mean I can't build a desk environment that will not only help me maximize the capabilities of my work computer, but allow me to have fun and use my gaming PC as well. In this video, I'll go over my current desk setup. I'll talk about the several peripherals I've added, the three computers I interact with daily, and more importantly, how I've set it up so I can switch between each of them seamlessly. First thing I want to talk about is my sit and stand desk from IKEA. This is an old model. It's called the IKEA Bikan. It's quite simple and honestly, I wouldn't recommend it. The features are pretty basic, with only two buttons available to increase or decrease the height. I'm happy with how it looks, but the deal breaker for me is how wobbly it is when it's on stand mode. I've made a few adjustments to reduce the wobble, and for the price, it's not that bad. But if I were to buy an adjustable desk now, I'll definitely pick a different one. I have to say though, if there's one thing I love about this desk, it's the cable management. It has this hammock type of thing underneath that not only provides a space for your cables, but because of its material, it actually kind of hugs the hardware. It's been with me for the past five years now. I'm not really looking to upgrade this soon, but if I were to start all over again, I'll definitely get something more stable. Second thing on my list are my white monitor arms clamped to my desk. I just got these off of Amazon and they're pretty functional. One of them holds my monitor while the other one holds my laptop. It does have some provisions to route cables, so it helps keep my desk clean. Now let's talk about my monitor. This is the Spectrum Monitor from EVE Devices. The company doesn't really have a good reputation, as I've seen numerous posts about how bad they are with shipping times. I got really lucky though, and my order arrived without a hitch. The screen is beautiful, and the matte finish helps reduce glare. There are numerous inputs available, which allow me to connect multiple devices. It displays my Windows PC at 144Hz and my MacBook at 120Hz. This is my dream monitor, if I'm being honest. But once again, if I was starting from scratch, I can't really recommend this monitor because of the aforementioned shipping issues. I'll probably go with an OLED panel if I were starting out, but for my current use case, I don't see myself upgrading anytime soon. Alright, now let's talk about my keyboard. This is my Kidus NJ80 running Zilio V2 tactile switches. Keycaps are from Drop, and to me, they look really good and fit the Mac aesthetic quite well. I've had these for over two years now, and I'm happy to see that the legends are holding up pretty well. Moving on to my mouse, I'm currently using the Logitech MX Ergo. My wrists hurt a lot when using regular mice, and this device just works. Do I wish there was a different version out there to fit the aesthetic better? Yes, I do, but it's built like a tank. It's just an incredibly solid device, so unless Logitech comes out with a white version, I'll just keep on using this. Alright, now for my sound setup. I currently have a shit stack. I used to have a Modi and a Magni setup a few years back, but I have since upgraded to the Bifrost and Lear to power my HD800S. The headphones are amazing with soundstage, but are known to be quite fatiguing. So I picked up a Locus as well so I can lower the highs a bit. You can see that I've done exactly that and I've arrived at a setting which I'm happy with. Now let's talk about the computers I use on a day-to-day -day basis. First off is my 2021 14-inch M1 MacBook Pro. I won't go over the specs in this video. Instead, I want to focus on what it's connected to. I've always loved the idea of a hybrid computing environment. At its core, a computer powerful enough to run everything you throw at it, but flexible enough to detach and take anywhere at a moment's notice. That's why it was very important for me to have a docking station for my main computer. And this 5-port Thunderbolt hub from OWC works like a charm. It allows me to use multiple Thunderbolt or USB-C devices with my MacBook using only a single cable. The only drawback is it can only provide 60 watts of power. Your mileage may vary, but I haven't had any issues with it. There are a total of three devices connected to the hub. 
The first one is this Cable Matters HDMI adapter, which allows me to have 120 FPS output on my EVE Spectrum after flashing the latest firmware. The second is a simple USB switch that allows me to connect my keyboard, mouse, and DAC to two different computers. The third one is another device from OWC. It's the OWC Thunderbolt 3 10 gig Ethernet adapter, which allows me to get 10 gigabit speeds when interacting with the files on my NAS. Speaking of NAS, let's talk about my second machine, which is my Unraid server. I have an old i7 in there with 64 gigs of RAM and several drives of varying sizes. I run my Home Assistant instance on there, I run a LAN cache service, and a few other Docker instances as well. But one of my favorite upgrades is the 10 gig PCIe adapter, which lets me serve the files to my MacBook through a 10 gig connection. And last but not the least, let's talk about my Windows computer. I had one challenge for myself in building this computer. I wanted it to run the fastest components available at the time of building, while only being cooled by a single 280mm radiator. I needed a chassis to house everything, and what I settled on is a pairing of an EVGA 3090 and a 5950X. I ordered several parts from EKWB to handle cooling and it's running very well being cooled by only a single 280mm radiator. If it isn't obvious, my desktop is actually incomplete. I have yet to find proper screws that would fit slim fans. That's something that I need to fix immediately. I'll probably make another video on this computer in the future, so stay tuned for that. So that's my current desk setup for 2024. I hope this video can serve as an inspiration for other enthusiasts out there. I'll be making more videos on the computers I mentioned earlier, so stay tuned.